Hello there. My name is Elizabeth Ishola, president and founder of Women on the Threshing Floor. I have a strong passion to help you live again, to help you become all that God has created for you to be. So regardless of your circumstances, doesn't matter what your life looks like right now, I tell you what, you can live again. You can start afresh. You can become the real you that God intended. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like, share. Also drop a comment in our comment section below to help us know how you feel about our program. You could also drop a topic that you would like us to talk about. Thank you, and I'll be right back. Welcome back, viewers. Today, we're going to continue praying. I'm sure you were blessed last week. We're praying again this week. And today, the Lord is laying in our hearts to pray for women. Women are special. Women are unique. Women, we are the last born of God. And God wants us to pray along with you today. So we'll go right into praying. If you look at the book of Proverbs chapter 31, from verse 10, it talks about the virtuous woman. That is one strong woman that I've been doing my best to meet up with her standard. That woman didn't have a name because God put her there as a standard for all women. And we should strive to be like her because when you become like the virtuous woman, the Proverbs 31 woman, you would have fulfilled your calling and your destiny. I assure you, true. So today we're going to be praying, asking the Lord to um, help us to become virtuous in all our dealings. So Proverbs 31.10, it says, An excellent woman, one who is spiritual, capable, intelligent, and virtuous, who is he who can find her? Her value is more precious than jewels, and her worth is far above rubies or pearls. Verse 26 says, she opens her mouth in skillful and godly wisdom. That's the excellent woman. That's the virtuous woman. And the teaching of kindness is on her tongue, giving counsel and instruction. So we're going to pray and ask the Lord because we can't do nothing by ourselves. The Bible said, without me, you can do nothing. So without God, without Jesus, you can't be that excellent woman. You can't be that capable woman. You can't be that intelligent woman. You can't be that faithful, diligent, generous woman. So we're going to pray and say, Father, help me to become capable. Help me to be intelligent, to be virtuous, to be faithful, to be diligent, to be generous, to be kind. The Bible said the words of kindness shows forth in her speech. Anytime she talks, it is kindness. How many of us can speak kindness per time? When we're faced with situations that look like wickedness, how do we respond? Do we respond with kindness? So we're going to ask the Lord to give us the grace to help us to become that virtuous and intelligent and faithful and diligent and generous and spiritual, strong woman. And then we're going to ask the Lord that the law of love the law of kindness will always be in our hearts and on our, on our lips in the name of Jesus. So go ahead and ask the Lord. Kados keto shita labada. Endo yoko skero bo shila ba 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 ba. Bado ta skero ta shata la ba 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 ba. Lord, according to your word, in Proverbs chapter 31 verse 10, we make a demand for your help today. We ask fathers that the Holy Spirit will help us to become capable. Help that woman out there to become capable, to become intelligent. Help that woman that is struggling, struggling with being generous. That woman that is struggling with being diligent. That woman that laziness has eaten her up. That woman that is finding it hard to be unfaithful. Father, we ask, oh God, that you help us. Help us as women. Help that woman that is needing you, even more than some other women. Reach out to her and help her, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that the law of love will begin to speak forth in her life forever. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Amen and amen. We're going to pray secondly, asking the Lord to help us to be obedient to his word, to be obedient to his will. You know, recently, one of my child walked up to me recently and um, shared something really amazing with me. And I said to my child, you will give me time to seek the face of God because I believe in doing the will of God no matter the circumstance. So no matter how good, how sweet it sounds, I would rather be on God's side than on my side. I believe in the will of God. Why? Because the God we serve is the all-knowing God. He's the one that knows the end from the beginning. So no matter how good a thing is, I would rather do God's will. I would rather obey His word than obey my desire. So right now we're going to be praying and asking that the Lord will help us to become women that obey God's word and God's will in the mighty name of Jesus. If you look at Colossians chapter 3 verse 16, Colossians chapter 3 verse 16 it says, let the spoken word of Christ have its home within you, dwelling in your heart and mind, permitting every aspect of your being as you teach spiritual things and admonish and train one another with all wisdom, singing psalms and hymns and spiritual songs with thankfulness in our hearts to our God. Now let's pray and say, Father, I determine to continually allow your word to dwell in me richly. And as I grow in your word, help me to always be obedient to it and to your will in every area of my life in the name of Jesus. So we're going to be asking the Lord to give us the grace to continually sit with his word, to dwell, to allow the word of God to dwell in us richly in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, allow, help me, O oh God, that I continually allow your word to dwell in me richly. And as I grow in your word, help me to always be obedient to it because it is one thing to be a hearer of the word is another thing to be a doer of the word so father I am asking today that you help us as women not to only hear your word not to only dwell in your word not to only read or study your word but also to obey it to obey your will in every area not in one area in every area of our lives in the name of Jesus manto ikos kero shitala baba baba endo yo that when we will come to a point in our lives that no matter how sweet that decision looks like, no matter how good it sounds to the ear, we will only yield to your will in the name of Jesus. That single lady that wants to get married, she's already in that relationship and it looks good, it feels good, but there is a hitch in your heart telling you to pause. There is something inside of you telling you to wait. We are asking the Lord to help us oh God to align to align with your will to align with your word in the mighty name of Jesus Christ that decision about that relocation that decision about that job that decision about that thing you want to do God said you should give him a little more time so that it will align you will align with his will because with his will you will find peace with his will you will find fulfillment with his will you will find satisfaction in the mighty name of Jesus. Karos kero shita la ba 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 ba. Mento yokos keto yikata la ba ba ba. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. We're going to ask the Lord for those that are married. We're going to say to the Lord to help us to become loving and excellent wives to our husbands loving and excellent wives to our husbands, so that he will be able to trust confidently and unreservedly in us. So we're going to ask the Lord, Father, help us, oh God, to be loving. I know we are in this season, we're in this time and age where it looks like marriage is nothing to a lot of people. But we know your stand when it comes to marriage. We know that you honor marriage. We know that a, 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 an honorable marriage before you is a blessing. So Father, we come to you as women asking, oh God, that you help us to be loving, help us to be excellent wives to our husbands in the mighty name of Jesus so that they will trust 
confidently and unreservedly in us. In the mighty name of Jesus, Marcos Kero Shita Lababa, help us, oh God, to greatly enrich their lives. Help us, oh God, to be comforting, to be encouraging. Help us, oh God, to do him good as long as we are alive. In the name of Jesus, Mareko Taiko Shata Yababa, Lando Yogo Doli Katalababa, our confidence is in you, our trust is in you. The Spirit of the living God will help us, oh God, to be excellent wives in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. We're going to ask the Lord to help us to be godly mothers, to help us to raise godly children in the mighty name of Jesus, that the Lord will help us to reflect his love to each of our children. Oh, Father, we're asking that you help us to reflect your love to our children in the mighty name of Jesus. Help us, oh God, to raise them in your tender nurture. Help us, oh God, to, to, to raise them in your own training, in your discipline, in your counsel, in your admin admonition in the mighty name of Jesus that we will raise for you godly seeds. Areko Shataya Baba. The reason God attended your marriage, the reason the Spirit of God came to your marriage is so that you can raise for God godly seeds. We are in a generation where the devil is snatching children from the kingdom, but we stand our feet and we declare on this mountain that none of our children will be snatched by the kingdom of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. We decree that our children are light. They are light to the world. The world will come to them to get the light. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, none of our children will be missing from the list of the kingdom. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen and amen. We're going to be praying that the Lord will give us the wisdom to manage our homes. The wisdom to manage our homes. I said it recently. I said we need wisdom for for everything. We need wisdom. And when we say wisdom, not sensual wisdom, not with the wisdom of this earth, but we're asking for the wisdom of God. I'd like us to ask, let's agree together corporately on this mountain, on this altar, that in the mighty name of Jesus, we we'll ask for wisdom and we we'll receive the wisdom to manage our homes. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God of heaven, help me to look well to how things are run in my home and refuse to eat the bread of idols in the name of Jesus. I refuse to eat the bread of gossip, of discontent, of self-pity in the name of Jesus. Help me, oh God, to know how to organize my day. We have been taught separately on how to have our days organized, on how to have our lives organized, but many times we are losing focus. Many times we keep getting distracted. We bring this before you today, Lord, and ask that you show us, show us how to organize our days in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Show us how to be more productive within time, how to be more productive with our time in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Labos keto shita yabada, endo yogodo likatala baba baba, rokos keto shanta yababa. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. We are going to ask the Lord for grace. We are going to ask the Lord for grace. Grace for the pace. We're going to ask the Lord for the grace, for his amazing grace. We receive his grace today. The grace of God will make life easy for us. The grace of God will remove frustrations, will remove depression, will remove pain, will remove um, struggle from our path. Father, we're asking for your amazing grace. Thank you, Father, for your amazing grace. We receive your grace. We receive your power. Your grace is the power of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. We receive your grace. We receive your ability. We receive your help in every area of our lives to accomplish all that we need to accomplish in the name of Jesus. Your grace strengthens us to stand no matter what comes our way. In the mighty name of Jesus, your grace is sufficient. It's all, of, it's all that we need. It's more than enough. We ask for the manifestation of your grace in every area of our lives, in our marriages, in nurturing our children, in our finances, in everything that concerns us, in our health, in the name of Jesus. Marcos Kero Shatala Bababa. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen and amen. And finally, we're going to declare that the Lord help us to become women of peace. And we can only become women of peace when we trust in God. 
when we keep our thoughts fixed on God and we keep our thoughts fixed on his promises, we're going to declare that, Father, help me, O oh God, to keep my thoughts fixed on you, to keep my thoughts fixed on your promises, and that it will keep me in perfect peace in the name of Jesus. Father, I declare on this mountain that your peace rules in my heart. I allow it to settle, to settle any question. I allow it to arise in my mind in the name of Jesus. I wholeheartedly trust in you. No more worries. No more cares. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Today, I cast all my cares upon you, knowing that you will take care of me. I cast all my cares upon you, knowing that you will help me. I refuse to worry. I refuse to fret. I refuse to have anxiety about anything. In the name of Jesus. Instead, today, Lord, I thank you in advance for meeting all my needs. I thank you in advance for working out every situation for your glory. In the mighty name of Jesus, I trust in your faithfulness. In the mighty name of Jesus, I trust in financial provision from you. I thank you for promising that if we would honor you with our finances by tithing and joyfully giving, that you will bless us abundantly. In the mighty name of Jesus, you know our needs. You will provide for us. You will provide for our family. In the name of Jesus, Father, we are determined to seek first the kingdom of God. We are determined to seek first your righteousness and we know that every other thing will be added. Our finances will be added. Food will be added. Clothing will be added. Shelter will be added. In the name of Jesus. Your word says that you are always faithful. Faithful to supply all our needs according to your riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Thank you for healing in our body. Thank you because you took, you took, you took, you took our sicknesses. In the name of Jesus, you bore our sicknesses. You bore our diseases. You carried our pains when you died on the cross. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. And by faith, we receive healing in our body. In the name of Jesus, go ahead and declare, I am healed. In the name of Jesus, I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed in my body. I am healed in my mind mind. I am healed in everything that concerns me. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jehovah Nissi. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us today um, in our prayer session. I want to believe that the Lord has touched you. He has touched your family. He has touched your home. He has touched you as an individual. Um, please do leave your comments, your testimonies. And if you have a prayer request, this is a good time to drop it because we'll be praying for you. Do you know you can continue to enjoy these nuggets, words of encouragement, prayer sessions by subscribing to our YouTube channel? Please click on the subscribe button to get notified whenever we come online. Like, share, also drop your thoughts on the comment session. Remember, pray about everything and worry about nothing. Till I come your way again next week. Thank you and God bless you. Ciao.